Hey guys, what is going on? It is Debogi here once again, and it's time for another video. And just recently I hit 30,000 subscribers, so I wanted to go ahead and say thank you to you guys. Uh, you guys are awesome, and I want to make a special cooking video for you guys because this should show how awesome you guys are. So I hope you guys will enjoy this special 30,000 subscriber cooking video with Debogi. So today we are going to be making a cake. But not any ordinary cake. Today we're going to be making a debogi style cake just for you guys and I thought it'd be a really great occasion. So I hope you guys will enjoy, but really quick I'm going to go through some of the ingredients you will need for this amazing cake. So what you'll need is a third cup of canola oil, three eggs, four ounces of jello pudding, or just a small regular box you get at your grocery store, and any flavor of cake mix. So what we're going to start to do is mix the wet ingredients and then later on we're going to throw in the dry ingredients so that will be easier to mix and glutens won't be forming everywhere and pus won't be foaming in your mouth. So we have an egg here and we're going to go ahead and crack the egg traditionally right into the bowl. So this is our mixing bowl. It will hold all of our wet ingredients including the eggs and the oil. Kabuki soaker! It's okay if you can't crack eggs. It took me a couple tries to do this. get a pro for it like that so after you get your eggs in the bowl here you should have three if you don't then probably want to count again you can go ahead and start mixing with your fork or your mixing utensil after the eggs are all beat and you showed them who is boss you can go ahead and add the oil a third cup of course of good old cheap canola oil it's called health and wellness oil it's a mixture of olive oil and some other good oil so apparently this is not canola oil this is actually really good oil. Healthy oil mixed with olive oil and good stuff. You can almost just drink this plain, like fish oil. Oh yes, and guys, by the way, Tammy is filming. I just want to say thank you very much to her filming and her thumbs ups. Uh, she's actually, this is her recipe. And uh, she's actually teaching me how to cook this as we go. So I'm just looking pro, but it's not me. Anyways, let's get with the oil. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the oil into the egg batter and mix it all up in good light so you don't even know what's happening in here. A lot of science is happening though. If you science majors out there, you probably know exactly what chemical reaction is going on, or not. So after you got your oil and eggs mixed, you're gonna go ahead and add in that one cup of water right here. And you're just gonna go ahead and incorporate that because water, of course, is wet. Wet goes with wet. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna go ahead and mix that together now. All good, like. Mmm. It's starting to look like really spoiled, watered down eggs, but it's so delicious. So delicious. Now we're gonna read the instructions because <laughs> you don't know what to do. Blend cake mix, water, oil, and eggs in large bowl at low speed until moistened, about 30 seconds. Then meat, beat meat. Meat it. Meat it at medium speed for two minutes. Pour batter in pans and bake immediately. You see guys, this is a trick. We actually are just following instructions off the cake box, but we are adding our own special ingredients that will make it so special and good. So our special ingredient that we're adding to this wonderful cake is pudding. Yeah. You can use actually any type of pudding you want. Um, I like vanilla, but you can use chocolate, strawberry, bacon flavor. It's all up to you what kind of pudding you want. Just make sure that it matches your cake batter. All right, so we're gonna open up this box. Now, yeah, that's pudding right there, guys. All right, so it's powdered, as you can see. It's gonna be a powdered form. It's not gonna be the pudding you get in those cups where you take for lunches. That's amateur stuff. We're going for straight for the source. So we're gonna go ahead and throw it right into the egg mixture. Just kind of sprinkle it in like you were dusting. And then you grow a third arm. Whoa, where'd that arm come from? Oh my goodness. We're gonna go ahead and add in our cake mixture. We're using Duncan Hines. Classic yellow, deliciously moist. That's a key word right there, moist cake. Actually, it doesn't matter what kind you get. I just I just wanted to advertise really quick. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this box and follow the rules. It says pull up right here. Again, powder. Not something in the liquid form or something you get already baked in the supermarket area. It's powder. It's all pure powder right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and open up our cake mix. And we're gonna go pour it into our bowl and mix it all together. And of course, the next important step is to open the bag. 
<laughs> it went all over the floor. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Smells good. It does. So now we have all the cake mixed into the bowl. Most of it. Except half of it's on my pants, but that's okay. What should we do with this? Just leave it. Just leave it in there? Mm -hmm. It's raw and young. Raw and young. It means it's real, dude. So now we got cake mix. I'm gonna start mixing. Because that's the word, cake mix. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Con los terroristas. They do the Harlem shit. So the cake batter is all mixed up guys, two minutes of mixing of course, and we're going to go ahead and fill up two cooking pans here uh, with two thirds full of cake batter. So we've got two because we're going to go ahead and stack um, these guys here on top of each other. So that's going to be really, it's going to be a tall, nice, juicy cake. So inside of our cooking pans here, we have parchment paper and this will help so that the cake won't stick inside the cooking pans. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up two thirds of way and we're gonna go ahead and bake both of them and then afterwards we'll stack them on top of each other. So let's go and start pouring. Hopefully I can do this elegantly here. Oh yes. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and switch it to the next one. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and get our Magical mixing tool. Um, actually, scraper. our scraper. Um, we can go ahead and get the, the scraper. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and start scraping all of the goodness out of this bowl right into that cooking pan there, um, because there's a lot of good stuff right there still left. So we're gonna scrape it all up. It's probably like the best part. Mm. Yeah. Now we need a scraper for the scraper. That's... Third hand. <laughs> Thank you, third hand. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and. Scrape the scraper with the scraper for the scraper. Now we need another scraper. Oh, my thing, third hand finger. And we're gonna spread it out a little bit here. Oven is preheated, so that is good. They're uneven, but that's okay. That's life. So we got our two cooking pans here full of beautiful cake mix, as you guys can see here. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and stick them in the oven for... Let's read the directions. And we're gonna go ahead and stick it in the oven for about three to five minutes, of course. As it says on the box, good Yo, old let me read Hines. it. Let me read it. <laughs> I think it's 35 minutes. Let me read it. <laughs> That's not... why I'm the re Let me see the box. Oh, it's not. It says add three to five minutes to bake time. <laughs> okay, all right, sorry. What, what does it say, guys? It says actually the bake time is going to be about. It's going to vary based we'll, we'll on what pan you use. About thirty minutes. Well, well, let's see. Let's see what kind of pan we have first. Mm. We have an eight inch, two eight inch pans. So we're going to do twenty six to thirty one minutes. Done. So that's thirty minutes. So we'll go ahead and bake it for about thirty minutes. Um, two pans here, full of beautiful cake mix. Stick that in the oven. Come with me. The magic happens. Whoa! Whoa! You scared me. No, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and stick it in the oven. Top rack should be fine. Oh yeah. Don't burn yourself though, it's super hot. Preheated at 350, of course. Top rack again. Oh, there's the two cakes there. About to get baked. Now of course we'll go ahead and set the time for about 30 minutes average, give or take. No, let's start at 26 minutes. You always want to start at the lowest setting first. We'll start at 26 minutes. You always want to start at the lowest setting, of course, first. Traditional baking style. Really All right, sure. so we'll go ahead and see you guys back in the kitchen in 26 minutes. Yeah. So we just took the cakes out of the oven. We let them cool for about an hour. And the reason why we we're letting them cool for an hour is because the next and final step is we're gonna frost the cake. Good old frosting right here. And the reason why is because if you put frosting on a hot cake, it's gonna melt all off and you're not gonna have a good time. 
So let's go ahead and start getting the cakes out of the pans and start putting them onto our platter. So in order to take out the cake in one piece, we're gonna go ahead and loosen up the edges because, well, it's stuck. And the bottom we don't have to worry about because of the parchment paper. But this stage is very important. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're gonna take the, a butter knife and we're gonna go ahead and cut around the edges of the cake, like so. And you're gonna to wanna to be very careful because I'm not sure what kind of pots or pans you are using, but butter knife tends to scratch every single surface, so you wanna be very gentle when you're doing this stage. So the next step, guys, is we're gonna go ahead and put both layers onto our platter, and we're gonna go ahead and frost it up. So this is the next important step. We're gonna go ahead and take the cake, we're gonna transfer it from the cooking pan, and we're gonna put it right onto our platter. So the way we're gonna do this elegantly is, as we know, the sides are all cut, everything is well. We're gonna do the little flippy trick right here. <coughs> Yeah. Yeah, We're going to go and peel the parchment paper right off and look at that beautiful flat bottom right there. We're just going to take this flat part and we're going to flip it right onto there so it stays really nice and flat here. Like that. Look at that. And we're going to frost the top layer and it's going to act as glue. So we just got done frosting the cake, and as you notice, we used two full containers of Funfetti and whipped. Unfortunately, the whip wasn't as fun to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> so this cake is for you guys, so I did want to go ahead and uh, dedicate this cake for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and write you guys a little message. So it's Wow, it looks really good. I'm excited to try it. Me too. Daddy! I think I already did. I saw it this time. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, do you know what you look like right now? <laughs> the Iron Man in the Iron Mask? Oh, gosh. Oh, <laughs> level. Here, eat some. Eat your face. Oh. High five. Oh. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Oh.